Hey everybody, today we're gonna go on a quick tour of the Casino del Sal RV Park, which is located in Southwest Tucson, Arizona. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jim, our channel is RV into Retirement. We've been full-timing for a little over a year now, and we invite you to come along and join us on our adventures by becoming a subscriber. And uh, we want to give a quick thank you to everybody up front for subscribing. So let's jump right into the RV park and give you our thoughts, the, the, what we like and what we don't like. So one of the first things uh, that we didn't like is that we're next to a fairly busy road. And so when you take a look, the RV park is uh, right there in the foreground and the casino is there in the background. But this, this road right here is uh, Valencia Road, West Valencia Road. It's one of the southernmost roads in uh, Tucson. So it does have quite a bit of uh, traffic. And we did notice that a lot of people uh, take off from that traffic light over there that makes a lot of noise uh, at night. So uh, if, if you're uh, susceptible to not liking a lot of traffic in the background, you want to stay on the southern side of the campground away from the uh, road. So let's take a, a walk in. When you first pull in, there's a marketplace and a gas station over here. And that's where you'll check in. You'll come down this driveway here and there's a couple of spots for you to park and then go into the office. Check-in time is one o'clock. So this is where you'll park. They have enough room for several RVs. And as I said, you go check in on the inside. There's a store and a marketplace in there. And they will get small packages for you. Uh, FedEx and UPS. I don't think they take any U.S. mail unless it's in a uh, envelope or a box. Uh, uh, not an envelope, but a, a packaged envelope, a legal size. And... Uh, you have to track it to know when it's uh, there. They don't want you uh, having them there more than overnight. And then across from us is an entrance to the campground. Everything is uh, card coded. It's a fairly new campground. I don't know what they have planned for this dirt area back here. Most people uh, walk their dogs on that. It is a gated property all the way around. And so you would enter right over here. They, you get a card key that will open the uh, arms on the gate for you. So these first few spots over here on the right are back ends. So there's back ends, two rows of back end spots. Um, this first row right here, which is on the east side of the RV park, and then there's another one on the west side of the parking lot. Some of the roads are a little narrow. They are all brand new and in good condition. All the sites are uh, gravel. They have full hookups, 30 amp, 50 amp, 110, water, and sewer. I mean, they're very new. They're very neatly done. Uh, everything is clean. It's kept very clean. They have 24 hour security roaming around the RV park.
and you could see the casino over there. We did see a few people park in the casino parking lot uh, for overnight, so you didn't have to really come into the RV park. They do have an amphitheater there and get some uh, decent name events there. So you can check their website, which I'll post in the comments below. And I'll also put a, a link to the map of the campground. In the middle section are all the pull-through sites. They are a little tight. So as you can see with this fifth wheel here, he has to put his car up on the gravel and, and this one also. But it, the back end one seemed to have a little bit more room. Uh, you can have your back overhang into the dirt. And so you can get your car in there also. It's kind of uh, light on amenities, so um, there's no pickleball or tennis courts. There's no pool, but they do have a spa over here. Um, one of the things actually that I appreciated was that they have two barbecue grills over here and they're gas-powered barbecue grills. So that uh, saved me some trouble from unpacking all my stuff. They're kept very clean. You have an outdoor shaded uh, picnic area over here. And then over here to the left is uh, the spa. So basically a hot tub and some chairs. It's, a, it's small, but uh, I have seen people using it. And this will give you an idea of a site that backs up to the marketplace over there. And you can see people can park their cars behind their RV. Over here you have restrooms and the laundry. And there is a shower. So they have several washers and dryers. They do take a credit card, so that would be good for you. And I don't know the dollar amount. 250 or 350, I'm told, on the charge of the machines. And inside the restroom area, there are showers. They're all uh, gate coated, so you don't have to worry about uh, walking in on intruders. And like I said, there is security that comes around here. And just walk a little more down this aisle. And I'll, I'll bring you to a typical site. So this is our site right here. So we're 42 feet and I'm not backed up all the way. And so we still have enough room uh, for getting our car in there. And I'll show you hookups on this abandoned site right here. This is site number 73, if you're looking at the map. So this is where your sewer is. One thing I thought was a little odd was your water is way up here and your electric is back there and the sewer is sort of two thirds of the way down. Uh, it works for us. It does have a, a cable outlet. There's not many channels, mostly uh, local channels. Uh, there is uh, a, a few garbage cans centers placed around the park there's one another one's off in the quadrant the other way over there um, all in all 
Uh, if you're looking for a place to stay, we're staying here on a monthly rate. It's very hard to get into Tucson in the winter. So this worked out for us uh, just fine. Uh, would I stay longer term? No. Um, would I even stay a month again? Probably not unless I couldn't find another place. And the reason being is the lack of amenities and the distance to uh, the, the road over here that makes noise. It's not too far from Tucson. So it's, it's a maybe a 15 minute drive to get most anywhere uh, from here. Uh, we did go over to the casino. You can walk right over there and they have uh, several different eateries there. It's a really beautiful casino on the inside. Um, I'll see if I can find a uh, photo to post, but it uh, has like a painted sky with clouds and it looks like you're in a Tuscan village or a Mexican village and it's, it's really nice. It's not your just typical casino with uh, machines everywhere. Uh, very pretty. Uh, if I don't post a picture, please look down below and I'll have a link to that. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming back to all our subscribers. If you have any comments, please leave them uh, below in the comments section and I will try to answer you the best that I can. Until next week, where we'll be traveling to uh, Hot Springs, California, Desert Hot Springs, California. We'll see you on the road. Take care, everybody. Bye and thank you.